just cut me off like that, man. I'm a paying customer here. All I want is some damn cucumbers. But it's kind of hot in here, do you mind? Don't worry about it. Uh, it's just a warning this time. Just get new plates on your car. I'm not buying any new plates. I'm not creating joinder with the government. I don't look like Jacob Grand. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you're like one of those people that pops up on other people's shores and never had to make some like big life decision, right? <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> sorry, that's me. I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I was trying to beat the other guy here. Wait, what, what other guy? <sighs> that other guy. Whatever you do, don't watch the agenda tonight at 9 p.m. on KentWire.com. No, no, you, you should watch The Agenda, live right now on KentWire.com, the best comedy show in Portage County. It's the only comedy show in Portage County. Guys, I am receiving some conflicting information right now. Listen, the show, it's just not that good. That's a lie. The Agenda's at the same level as Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Have you seen SNL lately? That's really not the compliment you think it is. Guys, please, please, can we, can we just stop arguing? You know what? I agree with Sean White here. Well, I, I'm actually not. Listen, why don't we embrace our similarities rather than our differences? You know, you've got a point. At least none of us watches Fox News. Kyle Miller Show, Kyle Miller Show, Kyle Miller Show, Kyle Miller Show, Kyle Miller Show. Watch him fix this thing, watch him fix this thing, watch him fix this thing, Kyle Miller Show. Watch him throw the disc, watch him throw the disc, watch him throw the disc. Did you see how far that went? Kyle Miller Show, Kyle Miller Show, Kyle Miller Show, Kyle Miller Show. Well, apparently this week is the Kyle Miller Show, and I just wish you guys told me that before we started this episode, so I guess it's only fitting that Kyle's hosting this week again. I, I know you secretly like hosting with me. I do, but I can say for everyone here that I sincerely hope that you aren't taking your shirt off this episode. Well, the night is still young. You have no idea. Oh, good. So, if this is the Kyle Miller Show, can I do whatever I want, technically? I guess. All right, so I'm going to get into talking about disc mania and how all of their molds are the best in the sport of disc golf. Uh, the P2 is the best part Thanks, of the Thanks, Kyle. Game. I'm sure that everyone knows exactly what you're talking about. I'm just here to educate. If this truly is my show, I deserve the right to educate the masses in what is possibly the greatest sport ever on Earth. As someone who has played disc golf before, I don't know if I agree with that statement, or maybe I'm just bad at it. The world will never know. Yeah, I'm definitely just bad at it, and you know that. I do. But I think we have some exciting news tonight. Oh, yeah. We are actually the first news outlet to report this, but Joe, Joe Biden, Biden is president-elect. President this is very, very new. Good. This is very new and exciting really information for everyone here tonight. And this is totally unforeseen, and no one could have predicted this. Except for, <laughs> except for almost every single prediction this year. Well, maybe we'll finally be able to put an end to the global pandemic. You know, that finally. is refreshing to think about. I can't wait to finally stand shoulder to shoulder in a sweaty pit of people at a mediocre concert again. I know one concert that we'll be going to, and it won't be mediocre. Is that Bony Bear? Yes, how'd you know? I am the one who bought the tickets. All right, but fair point. But I do have to say, I think, I don't know if I like I, comma, I or 22 a million the best, but they're both really good in their own Okay, I got to cut you off. This may be your episode, but we have a tons of videos to watch and guests to talk about. So let's go do some readers. All right, fine. 100-year-old man Don Shin, nicknamed Mr. Mamba, broke a disc golf Guinness World Record this past week after lobbing a disc 189 feet. We're pretty sure the only person who would care about this is me. Users of the site YouTube witnessed an end of an era the other day as the viral hit Baby Shark took the spot of the most viewed YouTube video of all time. 
The spot had previously been held by Despacito by Louis Fonzi, which debuted in 2017. A music video about annoying cartoon sharks being the most watched video of all time makes me feel out of touch. And I'm only 57. The town of Rabbit Hash, Kentucky just elected a bulldog as mayor, and the dog received the most votes of any candidate in town history. Unfortunately, he has been unable to get to work because the cat he was running against has refused to concede the election and is claiming widespread voter fraud. EDM superstar Vin Diesel recently released his second single, Days Are Gone, after his first single, Feel Like I Do, somehow made it onto the Billboard charts. Fittingly, I feel like the days when this world made any sense are also gone. Donald Trump recently tweeted, that's a bad statement, that his campaign manager, or that his campaign would be holding a post-election press conference at the Four Seasons Hotel in downtown Philadelphia. The press conference actually took place in the parking lot of a landscaper next to an adult bookstore in an alley across the town. If this is not a metaphor for the presidency, then I do not know what is. Kanye West has already announced that he plans to run for president in 2024. Nice try, Kanye, but we all know that The Rock is going to be elected in 2024. You should probably concede now and save everyone's sanity. Trump supporting TikTokers have been trolling voter fraud lines for content. Biden representatives already working in the White House have fired back, saying, I don't see how you can hate from, an out, from outside the club. Y'all can't even get in. Lego. The United Kingdom has said that they will begin the trial of a possible new COVID treatment. It has been confirmed that the COVID-fighting super drug is aspirin. You heard that, right? Aspirin. Good luck, Britain. God save the Queen. So today, everyone wants to ask me, what are you going to cancel this week, Kyle? And everyone's just so excited. Everybody wants to know. And it's finally time for me to tell you, this week I'm going to cancel Bugles. Because last night, I spent 72 minutes putting these things on my fingers because I thought I was going to turn into a witch when you put a little bugle on your finger, but I never did. And see, right here, I'm putting one on my finger and it just broke. And that's about the whole story. So thanks a lot, Obama. With America being the way it is right now, we here at The Agenda think everyone could use a hero. Luckily for you, that's exactly what we have today. Our producers tracked down the three most powerful superheroes at Kent State, and tonight, Rachel and I will decide who will become the hero that America deserves. First up is Audie McRowdy. Apparently, her skills are so impressive, she saved thousands of A-listers from assassination. She sounds incredible. Let's bring her on. Hello, everybody. I am Audie, Audie McRowdy. How are you doing? I'm doing perfect. It's good to hear. It's great to see a woman in this line of work. And now that we've passed the Bechtel test, Kyle may ask questions. Thank God the testosterone in this room is getting dangerously low. So, Audi, what is your power? I have a power like no others. When I approach a cat, my skin breaks out in a rash. My eyes swell up, and if I don't take my EpiPen that I bought for $700, then I will surely perish. Just sounds like you're deathly allergic to cats there. Oh, you don't know the half of it. I'm sorry, sister, but I have to decide with this mister. I'm Kyle Miller. How can having you nearly die and then being exploited by the pharmaceutical industry save anyone? Your pathetic smooth brains can never understand. Let's say one of my fellow wrinkly brain brethren are vibing at home listening to the newest Angel Drive album and then a cat assassin, a cat assassin, sneaks into their studio apartment and attempts to take their life. I simply enter the room and bam! If my left arm breaks out, then the cat is hiding over there. Life secured, or life saved, dub secured, CD is victorious. That actually makes a lot of sense. We'll keep you in mind, Audie. Thank you for having me. That was getting way too chummy for my liking. What's wrong? That was actually a pretty interesting ability. The Bechdel test? Nuh-uh. Our next superhero is going to be a man, and we're going to talk about man things like football, objectifying women, and being insecure in just about everything I do. Do you want to talk about it after the show? No. I'll bottle these emotions up until they come out in an unhealthy way. The agenda will be right back. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but one of the teachers was uh, Miss Araceli. She gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing, and she'll sit there with you until you get it. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. All right, everyone, I'm going to keep my promise. Next up is a true king, 
This masculine man's manly power is that he is irresistible to women. Whenever the USA needs intel from a foreign power, we just send in Jersey Mike. Hey guys, my name is Jersey Mike, and I'm 6'4 and handsome. I can tell, bro. You've been hitting the weights? A little stiff, Bropski. All right, you're both tools. Cool. Let's get to some actual journalism. Journey, Jersey Mike, what's your power? I'm 6'4 and I'm handsome. Stop roasting my man like he's Popeye's delicious Cajun roasted Thanksgiving turkey. Available now. <coughs> if you order. Fine. Jersey Mike, what have you done for the people? Um, you know, s stuff. Stuff. You, you okay, Jersey Mike? Come on, Kyle. You didn't say there'd be any girls here. Wait, can you not talk to women? Of, of course you can. Jersey Mike is a playboy like no other. He's, he's like if Tom Cruise wasn't short, um, wasn't a vain ass, and could do push-ups with no hands. Jersey Mike's a man's man. I can't do this, Kyle. The other night, I was at a club, and a girl asked me to buy a drink for her. You know what I did? I gave her my credit card, and I left. Are you okay, Brobsky? Do you want to talk about it? Can you... Can you just have her turn around? What's wrong, bro, sis? You used to be the king of kings. No woman could resist you. Remember that time? We went to that wedding together and all the bridesmaids were swooning over you. You made out with like three chicks that night. They were all my cousins, Kyle. All of them. Look, buddy, we should talk about this later when we're not on live television. You're right. Just thanks for being so understanding. Just like my cousin. <laughs> Get out. Please leave. Um, the agenda will be right back. Mr. President, we could... <laughs> Mr. President, why are you sleeping on the couch? But Melania kept hugging the covers. I still swear they gave Obama bigger covers than me. But anyway, I need to get my beauty rest. An election's afoot, and I'm gonna win. I... I guess, but... Why are you in bed already? I know it's dark, but it's 8 p.m. on a Saturday. We are in the middle of an election. I'm telling you, the election's already in the bag. The polls are closed, the ballots are in, and Donald J. Trump is in the lead. You need to drop the bad faith energy, and we need big, big faith energy. Sir, we've been over this. It's not a matter of faith to say that you've been losing ground in battleground states. We anyway, need to... I better get back to my... Uh, Oh, executive in action, so to speak. Got to be rested for my victory speech tomorrow. Yeah, um, about that. <laughs> Let me guess. Sleepy Joe is not going to accept the results of the election. <laughs> He's going to call it Russia meddling and try and sue the states or something that were crucial in his loss. <laughs> Them and the radical left just don't know when to sit back and accept that they've lost to a democratic process. Mm, not exactly. Just take it easy, Donnie. Take it easy, Donnie. You've got the best lawyers in the business. They'll get you that win. They'll get you that dub. Anybody that says otherwise, it's just fake news. Don't even worry about it. <sighs> You'll be all right. Just take it easy, Doc. Should I call him? No. No, he wouldn't want to see me like this. <whistles> oh, Travis Scott Burger. Only you can comfort me in these trying times. What was it, Nevada? Why wasn't I good enough for you? Was, it a pro was I the problem? Was it me? S sir? <gasps> what? Hey, what gives? I, I told you to knock. No, I know. I'm sorry. I just, uh... Are you, are you okay, sir? This is the first time maybe I've seen you out of a suit in, like, 20 years. I'm just... I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm going through a lot right now, I'm just, 
I'm so used to winning all the time, and I'm just not doing it anymore. Look, sir, I know, okay? But you're still the president for another two months. You can't just mope around until January. The American people, great people, by the way, love every single one of them. But they don't want me anymore. I know, but like, come on, man. You've got 20 bills to go through. You're meeting with the Prime Minister of Belgium soon. I can't anymore. It's just, it's, this is all fake news. I just can't do it anymore. Hamsters are just really small cats that are easy to misplace. Age four, that the projections need to be blood. Next Thursday? Seriously? Thursday. Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So. I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. So, I think I know how these superpower bits are going to go down. Our final superhero is Mile Killer, and he's not really going to have a superpower, is he? Howdy, y'all. I'm Mile and I lack object permanence. How does that work? Okay, so like you're here now, right? Yes, I'm sitting here. All right. Gone. I think we found our superhero. The agenda's gonna be right back. Okay, everybody give it up for Tim. Thanks for coming on tonight, Tim. Really good bit on how much you hate your wife. Um, just a suggestion. You may wanna try couples counseling because that does not sound like a healthy relationship. Um, up next, we have a club regular. Brian Simarelli. Let's make some noise for Brian. Yeah. All right. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, Tim, I'm going to have to second what Jessica said. I think you guys should probably go to couples counseling. Um, I can give you the number uh, that me and my wife used if you need it. Um, there's a lot going on in the world. Politics? You guys know I like to stray away from politics. But I just can't resist. <laughs> Yes, yes, I can't resist. There's so much going on in the world of politics. And hey, my friends tell me I do a really good Donald Trump impression. <laughs> do you guys want to hear it? Ah, oh, okay. All right, here I go. China, China, China's rigged the election. Yes, that's Donald Trump. Yes, China, I want to build a wall. In between the bathroom stalls at Macy's because for some reason they don't have them. What's that about? <laughs> like seriously, how come women get doors in their bathrooms, but us men, we get what a wall? Well, not at Macy's. You don't even get that at Macy's. Yeah, that's right. I've taken that up with their HR team many times. Yeah, yes, yes, Macy's, Macy's. They have no stalls or walls in their bathroom. You get to see everything. Ah. All right, all right, I know we're talking politics. And we're talking Donald Trump. I'm Donald Trump, I'm a loser. Yeah. Okay, I know you're a Republican down there, calm down. Loser, yes, Donald Trump is a loser. <laughs> um, so since we're talking politics, I might as well do it just once. Just once for good old times. Mike Pence is a poop head. Yeah, he's a poop head. Mike Pence is a poop head. Ah, oh, he's a poop head. Um, now let's talk about LA traffic, huh? Why is it so slow? Well, as we welcome the Thanksgiving season, we also welcome the season of savings. Black Friday will be here soon, so today we decided to have on a Black Friday savings expert to give you the hottest tips for shopping this year. Please welcome Bryce Cut to the show. Thank you so much for having me today. Absolutely. I hope to bring the viewers the ultimate tips for ultimate savings this Black Friday. Well, Bryce, we are all ears, buddy. All right, first things first, football pads, thick ones. Is that a hot product for budget shoppers this season? Oh, no, no, no. It's for protection. 
Okay, excuse me? Uh, let me finish. All right. You're going to want to suit up in your thickest pads and probably some sturdy headgear as well. You're probably going to want a weapon of some sort. It'll have to be something non-conventional so that the store security doesn't notice you. Grab a golf club that looks like it hasn't been paid for yet, something like that. I'm going to have to stop you there, sir. Uh, we here at the Agenda will never condone that kind of violence. Well, then, don't blame me. When you get the wind knocked out of you by a Midwestern mom driving for the last Black & Decker food processor. Midwestern moms do that any day of the year, but that's not the point. Black Friday is not some violent fiasco like it once was. There are organized entry lines, capacity limits, and added days for savings like Cyber Monday. Stop right there. I will not have you speak that profanity around me. Cyber Monday is a blasphemy, a desecration of all that was holy about Black Friday. Black Friday is about clawing your way through the electronic section. Black Friday is about fighting tooth and nail for the appliances that you already own. Black Friday is about kicking your enemy while he's down so that you can snag that last limited edition Polly Pocket doll. Is the Polly Pocket for your child? No, I, I don't have kids myself, but I'll be damned if I'm going to miss out on the deal of a lifetime. But why pay even a small amount of money for something you don't need and why be violent about it? <laughs> because it's the American way. The real problem with this country is the jelly-blown snowflakes that shop on the Monday that shall not be named. We need to fight for our deals like a war zone. We should be punting grandmas 50 yards just to get all six PlayStations left in stock. Sorry, Pappy. You're going to have to buy that video game for twice the price for my eBay account. <laughs> you are a monster. Capitalism is the monster. I'm just a messenger. Finally, something we can all agree on. Stay safe this holiday season and don't catch COVID or these hands over the last PlayStation. The agenda will be right back. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. With an alarming rise in stories about deer getting their heads trapped in small containers, we here at The Agenda located one of the many deer being affected by this widespread phenomenon. Welcome to the show, miss. Uh, are, are you okay? Couldn't be better, why you ask? You've got a, you've got that thing on your head again. Uh, you mean my antlers? They, they've always been on my head. No, I mean you, you've got a bucket on your head, ma'am. Yeah, what about it? Well, I mean, never mind. Have you been keeping up with the news as of late? I don't know how much news you get out in the forest, but. Of course I've been keeping up with the news, Rachel. Fight in 2020, baby, woo. Oh, I uh, didn't think that the U.S. presidential race really affected deer all that much. Of course it does, Rachel. Everyone is affected by politics, and pretending it doesn't impact your life requires an immense amount of privilege. It demonstrates that you're content with the status quo and all the injustices and shortcomings that reside within it. Wow, what insightful political commentary. And who would have imagined that a deer with a bucket on her head had more insightful commentary than the majority of Fox News personalities? But anyway, I was more referring to the influx of news stories about what's been going on in your community. Oh, you mean the bucket thing? Yeah, the bucket thing. Every time we see a news story about it, our hearts just break a little more. We feel so terrible that human activity is harming you and your fellow deer. I'm going to be real with you, Rachel. <laughs> These buckets are the best thing to ever happen to us. Wait, why? Are you kidding? Do you know how many berries and mushrooms I can fit in this thing? If you'd have told me that pumpkins could hold this much food beforehand, I never would have believed you. But all the news stories have shown that deer have been getting their heads stuck. That can't be safe. Oh, well, now that's just a bit unfair. Just because a couple of us are a few berries short of a bushel doesn't mean that we're incapable of fending for ourselves. We know how to hold our ground and solve our problems. I mean, you do run away a lot from everything. Well, that's a little bit of an offensive stereotype. I can assure you, us dear people are a strong people, a proud people. You aren't any kind of people. You're not people. We have been around since the dawn of time. The Romans wrote accounts of deer at the height of their civilization. We can trace our real lineage back to the times of Christ. Oh, dear Jesus. Exactly. The point is, 
Just because a few of us had an unfortunate run-in with a bucket doesn't mean Dear Society at large is suffering because of them. You've really expanded my worldview today. I've got to say, this is really eye-opening. I've never met a deer that could talk before, or one with opposable thumbs for that matter. Are there a lot of deer out there that can talk like you? No, not at all. I'm only like this because I drank some irradiated with spring water. I'm actually in constant agony, being plagued with the curse of sentience. Oh dear. Sorry, but anyways, I'm really sorry about being so presumptuous. I guess if the average deer can get themselves unstuck from small containers, then we here at home don't really have anything to worry about. Right you are, Rachel. Right you are. Are, are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't seem to get this thing off. I thought you said those plastic pumpkins weren't a problem. They're not! It's just cameras. I think we've seen enough tonight. Thank you for coming on. The Adena will be right back with a pair of scissors. Sir, the election results are in. Oh, wonderful news. I can't wait to see how much the American people love me. Hey, hey, uh, Assistant What's-His-Face, this, is this some kind of April Fool's joke? No, sir, this isn't April. It's not a joke. You've lost. You've lost. <laughs> Sir, it's time. Your stay at the White House has been terminated. You need to pack your bags. I always knew this day would come. <laughs> We'd be standing one by one. With our future in our hands. So many dreams, so many plans. Always knew after all these years. There'd be laughter, there'd be tears. But never thought that I'd walk away. With so much joy but so much pain, and it's so hard to say goodbye. But yesterday's gone, we gotta keep moving on. I'm so thankful for the moment, so glad I got to know ya. The times that we had I'll keep like a photograph. And hold you in my heart forever. I'll always remember you. Na 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 na. I may or may not have a countdown on my phone of when that man actually leaves the Oval Office. I think most of America does. I am the most important, though. This whole show is about me. Thanks, Anthony and Max. You've inflated his ego so much, and I'm going to have to deal with this all night. Yeah, and uh, you're lucky for that. Be glad it isn't you, Portage County. This has been The Agenda. I think you mean this has been The Kyle Miller Show. Fine, The Kyle Miller Show. Thank you for acknowledging my superiority today. Oh, goodness. Have a good night, Portage County. And have a good night, Portage County. Kyle Miller County. <laughs>